Cinema 5D at IBC 2011. Sponsored by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. Hi, this is Sebastian from Cinema 5D and I'm here with JVC and uh, Gustav is showing us the concept for a new 4K camera, handheld camera. Please, Gustav, tell us yeah. everything you know about it. Oh, yeah, it's very welcome. What we see here is not uh, the final camera and we have on the moment no date when we will uh, rele uh, release such a camera. What is important for us to show here, it's the ongoing processing technology which we build in and this is a very low voltage, high speed processing system which allows us to shot or record and playback 4K material, 4x HD, which you can see here in the back. That's original playback by one of these prototype cameras. And this is able to do in 4K, in 60p, in 50p or in 24p. But it's only not at only the attention for the 4K, you can use that also for 2K recording. You can have a, uh, over 12 megapixels still imaging, you can interval imaging, such thing we are thinking about it to make that in such a kind, handy uh, piece of camera. Uh, with this technology, that's our, let's say, our goal for the future. On the main road to before we release such a camera, we have already a new tiny 3D camera which allows us to have two streams of uh, 2D, full HD recording in made with this kind of chip technology, with this kind of uh, processing technology. When do you think this camera will be released? Well, everything is possible, but in a, in a way, that's not a real plan uh, to have a final product at the moment. Yeah. So we have to do some, still some work around. So in the moment, I cannot say when we have. Maybe it's a price very soon. Maybe a little bit later. That's in the moment not the case. You know, the, our attention is when you are recording on 4K. For us, it's important that you use a dedic not a proprietary uh, recording device. So the plan is, for example, use SDHC cards for four times HD. For example, we what you see here in the background, we can use a 32 gigabyte, four 32 gigabyte SDHC card, which you can buy in any shop, and you can uh, record on playback uh, this 4K content for about two hours. So, and it is also important for us that you can remove the files and put it to your existing NLE system, not to having something dedicated. So this is all ongoing, yeah, let, what do I say, development process, study process. So you're saying that there are four SD cards and it's recording simultaneously to those yes, cards? Correct. That's correct. So, but this will be not, we have to plan not to make it as a special file format, so we are thinking about to allow the people to remove the card, put it in your PC, and immediately you can control the signal and see one of the quarter of the image will be okay. So it must be very flexible and must be useful with the editing tools which you already have today on the market. So that's our attention. And it's our attention not to make a big size camera, to make a camera like this, and gives the 4K opportunity for security, for production, for diving, for climbing, yeah, and as a like very handy tool for, uh, well, like say for film students, yeah. It's sometimes very expensive to have a big 4K camera. Uh, we have some nice price ideas about such a camera. What kind of ideas? Ah, oh, let's say something around maybe six, seven thousand euros, something like that. But it's not final, as again, we have to study something and then we will see what we can make from it. And, and the goal for the future, is it more like uh, one year, or five years? You know. yeah, yeah, that's again the question when we come with this. No, I leave it a little bit open for this one. It will be a surprise. Let's, let's wait a little bit. Give us, do I cannot you, say we at the moment. Do you also plan an interchangeable lens system? No. The, the reason for that one is if you are recording this, the idea is to have a one-half inch uh, 4K chip. 
it's very important that the lens, if you have 4K resolution, the lens must be calculated, that you have a kind of a prime lens on the device that you get this kind of image quality. If you make it exchangeable, you, for example, if you develop a lens, it takes almost nine months to develop a dedicated lens. So it's not so easy to, to, uh, to change the lens and then have the good picture results. And as you know, lenses are expensive. Example, if you have a photo, car, photo camera chassis, mm -hmm. uh, you can pay more for the lens itself instead for the whole uh, photo chassis. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>